my name is uh, Yannick Smets and I'm an uh, employee of uh, Fleuren Nurseries. Uh, Fleuren is a nursery which is uh, uh, grounded uh, in 1922. This year we are 100 years old. Uh, we mainly produce uh, fruit trees, so that means apples, pears, cherries and plums. The trees we produce are for the professional fruit growers, so they plant them to, to grow the fruits. And uh, we do that on roughly 130 hectares of soil. The soil health means everything, uh, because well, the, the soil is re really the basics of, of, uh, of where we start uh, with our planting material. We try to make uh, soils sustainable as possible. Uh, well, I said we have a two-year um, growing period, but uh, we keep on um, uh, renting more soils uh, three years so that we have one year cover crop. Uh, we do a lot of with uh, a lot of um, manure with with cow manure but then also with straw in uh, so so basically um, uh, yeah well more rich in in, in 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 soil in life already and that's what we uh, implement on uh, on our fields so for us it's not possible to come back on a field as this within 100 years that's basically what we say so we have a crop rotation of one in 100 saying that uh, we are always renting new soils and that's also the main problem in our company because we don't know the soils uh, so we don't know what to expect. Before we plant anything we uh, deeply investigate the soil so we do soil scanning of course uh, but also soil sampling and the soil sampling we do not, do not only do the nutrients but also the soil life so that means uh, nematodes but also uh, fungi and, and, and stuff like that. The cover crop we grow is Japanese oats and for um, the main uh, crop we grow tagitis if we have a problem uh, otherwise what always works well is uh, sugar beets in front of our crop to reduce the, the nematodes uh, patilang spinatrant so as said we have a, a crop rotation in one in 100 years uh, but we would like to come back more often on fields which are rich in nutrients good uh, have delivered good uh, good crops um, and uh, we started investigating in uh, uh, soil resetting uh, in 2014 and we found out that that could be a really good solution uh, to get back on the field but that was only just a direction uh, in the years afterwards we did some bigger test, test plots uh, and we found out that well of course the doses and also when do you apply it um, that is very much of influence on the results uh, and what we learned now the last two years exact uh, mainly is um, uh, we uh, we have uh, controlled it so far that in our region we can do it in August with a lot less um, um, applied um, matter and um, within 12 weeks we can, well, we can basically get rid of all our, our problems. So the field where we apply it on has to be fallow uh, and um, we want that by the end of July. Uh, so that the soil can rest and that also uh, the, the stuff which is on the soil uh, still can uh, uh, determinate and, and, and just usable nutrients. So the field has to be on, on field capacity with, uh, with water. Afterwards we apply herbie and then we incorporate it in the soil uh, about 30 centimeters deep. Uh, of course we check if it's evenly spread um, and afterwards uh, we cover it with, uh, with, uh, with plastics which do not uh, let uh, oxygen through. That is kept there for yeah, 8 to 12 weeks depending on the process and the temperature of course. And afterwards we remove the plastic and then we keep it there until the next year March. Uh, we started with Herbie uh, with a higher doses but we uh, start to decrease that a bit by bit because we, we keep on learning, we keep on practicing and uh, well we hope in the end that the, the amount of uh, Herbie we apply is that low so that also the cost will be uh, reasonable for our uh, crop. We count roughly with, yeah, depending on how much you apply, between 1.2 and 1.7 euro per square meter. Uh, and that's including uh, the, the, the soil capacity of water, uh, the, the herbie, but also plastic, removing and labor and everything in total. So that's roughly the cost. 
as Fleuren, we, uh, we are convinced by this technique, by this method, uh, but we also cooperate together with other companies which are coming after our crop and they, uh, for example, grow asparagus uh, plants and then they have the same soil as we are, so we can divide the cost a little bit. Uh, we want fields close to our company because otherwise we have to keep on uh, going to other regions. Well, we are in here in, in, in Limburg, the south of the Netherlands, and we have um, uh, mainly sandy soils. I don't have experience with other type of soils, with loamy or with clay or whatever, uh, but uh, for recommendations uh, I would say Especially on apple replant disease, I can assure you that if you do it right, you can grow apples time after time. So we are standing now in organic uh, nursery. Uh, this is in, in winter time. So we go now from the one year growing period to the second year. So in spring it will be two year old trees as we call that. Uh, we have planted rootstocks with uh, a grafted uh, well variety on. The trees um, here are planted with roughly 28,000 uh, per hectare. The row distance is 90 centimeters apart and roughly 35 centimeters in between the row. You cannot imagine this, but if you come back here in August, then this whole field will like be two meters high and fully closed with branches. So at Fleuren we use uh, high clearance tractors normally to, uh, to hoe the weeds, so mechanically. Um, and we have machines which are weighing like eight and a half to 10 tons. Uh, and that's quite a lot. So we have a lot of pressure on the soil with compaction as uh, yeah, as a cause uh, and we developed ourselves uh, uh, a new machine which is electric electrically driven and this machine is is our prototype uh, and we are building currently a whole new one which is uh, the 0 0.1 version which has all new options and, and, and things which this, this one doesn't. Uh, and currently uh, the organic field is uh, maintained by finger weeders so we want to remove the weeds on top of the row uh, because we had a very uh, mild winter so every um, weed just kept on growing so that's what we want to remove right now. This is uh, equipped with GPS and it can drive well straight for itself but at the end we have still have to turn so that will be also the next step to make it more or less autonomous so that well one person can um, equip this machine uh, but also can do di different things to the trees. 